and make my dreams come true. fans are very loyal people. I've been rapping up a long time now and I've witnessed a generation grow up into adults and their kids, you know, the next generation, uh, go out and support, you know, and I, I ain't got nothing but love, you know, for my fans, man, they, they won't let me die, man. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, people in the projects that don't even come out until my release date, loyal. I'm talking about people standing in line, you know, on the release date, loyal. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I mean, the love that I've gotten over the years from the fans is just indescribable. It's overwhelming. I, um, I owe it all to them people too, man. Uh, you know, I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for the people, so. Just being on the tour bus on your way to a concert, you got butterflies. And when the bus pull up and I walk out, and as I'm walking through the back and hearing the people screaming, it's just, it's an adrenaline rush. And once I hit that stage and I start reciting the words from my songs, and just to hear the crowd, thousands of people say the same thing that I'm saying, like really reciting the words and, and just as pumped and as amped as I am on stage, that's the biggest adrenaline rush for me right there, man. It's just like, you know, um, it's unbelievable how you can, uh, you can write something and, and make a song and, and, and release it and, and how many people you know feel the same way that you do and when you at a concert they show you just that man they feel what you're feeling you know what i'm saying so you know, it ain't no other other way you know to explain it it's it's just it's a big adrenaline rush man and uh, i wouldn't want to do nothing else but perform man. People, what they want to see, man. Project nigga, what about a cool meal? Here, regular level trying to get me a deal. Now, I saw on a bitch, call me AOB. They're gonna have to pay a nigga. Yeah, I'm talking about me. I mean, when I'm in a room with someone on a level as Snoop Dogg, you know, I didn't freeze up. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, you, 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 you get used to being, you know, around. Uh, successful people when when you're in this, this this line of work you know when you're successful so it's like just meeting someone off the streets you know um, hey what's up you know what I'm saying and, and, and sharing your craft you know what I mean um, it, it's, it's funny you know to see someone sit there and write a song and, and you have um, you know you, you have this the idea in the back of your head that you've always you know, wanted to, to figure out like, damn, I wonder how he, he, he um, or she, um, you know, uh, writes or how they, you know, do they take as many as takes as I do? Or, you know what I'm saying? Um, those things, you know, come come to play, you know, when, when, you, when you're around uh, other superstars and, and you, you, I just laugh to myself like, okay, so I, 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 I rap faster than he does. Okay, and I laughed to myself for, you know, like, damn, I didn't know that they were that talented, you know, when, 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 when you get around, you know, a superstar, you know, or when I, when I get around a superstar, you know, like, damn, I didn't know that, you know, that they can get in here and just knock it out in, like, no time, you know, so I don't feel no different, I'm, like I said, um, when you're in this line of work, you, you run into superstars all the time, so. You know, other people want you to to uh, to praise them, and other people don't. You know, and the ones that act like that, I try to stay away from, because that's not who I am as a person. So, you know, it's pretty much the same with me, man. 
I'm looking at recognition through the face of a man And instead of helping the truth, you just spit in my hand Trying to figure out why you think you better than me Got a car now, but you think you wetter than me I don't know, homie, you look more upsetter than me To the Bay's biggest hypocrite Why you so mad at me? Definitely, definitely changed into a better person Changed into this father I mean, I have a seven-year-old son, you know, who wouldn't change? You know, um, and during my transition of changing, you know, I got the mess you changed, you know, but like I said, um, nothing means more to me than, than taking care of, of my responsibilities, and if that means, you know, um, leaving and to provide a way you know uh, for my kid you know that's exactly what I'll do and that's what I did um, bought a house um, you know got my kid in school um, you know and, and, and taking care of business so you know if you're speaking on change you know we are speaking on that <clears throat> that's that's exactly how I change but I'm still the same person, you know what I mean? I still get in the middle of the street and have a fight with you, you know? Uh, still to sit down and, and cry at a funeral, you know? But when it, when it comes to uh, my personal life and growth, you know, uh, I'm definitely growing every day and changing every day, so. Hey, homie. You ever had One of the biggest accomplishments I think I've made was uh, the song I paid Keisha Cole to perform on before Keisha Cole got her major deal. Just being in the studio with Keisha and, um, and, and doing the song and me paying her, you know, to, to perform the hook and watching her become this multi platinum you know superstar feels so good to me I'm like man you know I was just right there with Keisha you know before she blew up and she blew up like wow and, and she she um you know in interviews and whenever she gets a chance you know to sit down and, and, and think about me you know she 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 speaks on it you know um I think that was one of the biggest accomplishments, you know, that I've made in, uh, in the industry, you know, and, and, and the other is, you know, being relevant for so long and putting out so many albums and, and selling so many units and still, you know, today, can put out you know, another album and, and, and won't lose any recognition or you know uh, decline in any record sales. It's just you know my following and my fan base and you know my drive is the other biggest accomplishment, man. I'm, I'm real proud of myself. You know a lot of people don't know who I am. You know in general when it comes to the Bay Area and the West Coast. You know just because I haven't. You know, reached that national level, you know, so to speak. But um, you know, there there are a lot of uh, of people that um, that do know who I am, and, and uh, you know, it just, it just makes me feel good, man. All the work that I've put in. And, and, and. Um, I would hope people look at me as a role model not based on the content of my my lyrics but you know based on my struggle someone they can you know look back at and say you know I was right there with mess you know and I seen how he did it and you know eventually use you know that same blueprint and um, you know, get it together for themselves. I'm not perfect, you know. Um, I 
I want people to look at me as, you know, um, black history when it comes to the, to the Bay Area. And uh, reason being is because I've, I've made history. You know, I beat the statistics. Uh, I'm healthy. Um, not in prison. You know, um, all of the above. You know that that a black man or black male, you know, goes through in those conditions. You know, I want to be looked at as history. You know, and history in the making. And there you'll have me. You know what I mean? And make my dreams come true. How was it growing up? People look at me like, you know, I'm this rapper with all this money. You know what I'm saying? But I had a rough, a rough childhood. Um, I grew up with my grandmother. Um, part of my life. Uh, no mom, uh, dad was in and out of his addiction. You know, and um, when he finally decided to become a man. Dad uh, to projects in San Francisco, and boy, um, became a man at an early age. Um, I'm talking sleeping in a, you know, the, the abandoned apartments, the uh, the dope spots, the uh, the cars in the parking lot, man. Just you know that misguided. You know when it came to parenting, and, and my dad. I'm saying, and, and so I, I got out there, you know what I mean, and, and, um, and looked for that father figure and, and, uh, and siblings as far as brothers, you know, and sisters on, on the block, you know what I mean, um, learned a lot, been through a lot, um, seen a lot. I wouldn't change none of it, you know, um, in and out of jail, you know, problem child that turned into, you know, uh, the rapper, you know what I'm saying, so when y'all hear my music, you know, uh, you can go through that with me, you know what I'm saying, uh, supposed to be there in my life showing me how, you know, to love, you know, from a woman's perspective, so that's gone, that's been gone, so you can kind of imagine, you know what I'm saying, but I survived, man, you know, and, I, and I'm there for my son, and, and I'm teaching my son how to become a man and, and how to take care of business, you know what I'm saying, so my childhood turned out to be a good thing, you know. Now I'm able to teach my kid how not to do the things that I did, you feel me? It's gonna be gravy. <laughs>